Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about expected condition class. This class contains lot of function which are created on the basis of commonly used dynamic weight condition. So you can directly use these functions in your weight logic. So it's inside my Visual Studio, here I will create one more test method. So public void test expected condition and I need to use the attribute test method with it. Now if I go to the class definition of expected conditions as you can see here it contains lot of static function which are created on the basis of commonly used dynamic weight condition. For example element exists, element is visible, URL contain, title contain and so on. So you can directly use this function inside your weight. So here the scenario which I'm going to automate is like that. I will go to this website, type this string as HTML and click on search. After that, I'm going to select the last element and click on login and validate that this login box appear or not. So here I will copy this piece of code where I am navigate to the required position in the page and also setting the implicit weight to one second. Now after that I am going to use weight dot until. So first of all I need to supply the HTML string inside this search box. So if I do inspect element. So dollar dollar x for the x path and the x path is slash slash input at the rate type equal to search. Okay, so this is the x path. So here I will use wait until expected condition as all the function are static so I can use them with the help of class name dot element exist and here I will specify by dot x path and this is the x path. So if I go to the class definition of expected condition this is the method I'm using and it takes the by locator as the argument. So as you can see here the input to this func delegate is iWebDriver and output will be the iWeb element. So I can directly call the method dot send keys and specify the text as HTML. After that I need to click on search button. So button helper dot click button by dot x path and the x path of the search button will be or I will use the CSS selector for this. So dollar dollar double quotes dot the class name is this okay so I'm going to use this CSS selector so here instead of by dot x path I will use by dot CSS selector and this will be the selector
after that I need to wait for the element which is present at the last of this web page so I'm going to inspect this element So dollar x slash slash span contains text comma this okay so this is the x path for the last element So again I will use wait dot until expected condition class dot element exist. So by dot x path and this is the x path. After that as we know that this is going to return me a web, ele web element so I will call the click method. Okay so once this is done after clicking on this it is going to take me to the dashboard page where I will click on login button so if I do the inspect element so the x path will be dollar x slash slash a contains text comma login so here again wait dot until expected condition dot element exist by dot X path and this is the X path and again it is going to return me a web element so I will call the click method and also I can check for the title so console dot right line title comma expected condition so wait dot until expected condition dot title contains you okay and so if I click on login this particular dialog box will appear so if I do the inspect element So here at x path will be dollar x slash slash dev at the rate class equal to this. Okay, so this is the x path. So again, I will wait till this dialog box appear wait dot until expected condition dot element exist so by dot x path 
and this is the X path. So I am going to put a breakpoint over here, build our solution. and run this script in debug mode. So it has hit the debug point. If I do a step over, it is able to locate the element and also able to supply the HTML. Now I click on search button and wait for the element to exist. So I think uh, the element position got changed. Okay, so I'm going to stop the script and I have the X path for the last element. This is. So instead of this X path, this is the X path. So just because the element position got changed, I just changed the X path according to it. So again, I will run this script in debug mode. So it has hit the debug point. If I do a step over, it is going to supply the text and click on search button. So as you can see here, okay, again the element got changed. So instead of using the text function that is contained, I'm going to take the help of absolute text path. So here I will do the inspect element in fire path. So this is the absolute X path. And I'm going to use this X path over here. Okay, so again I will run this script in debug mode. So now it doesn't matter whatever the element comes at the last because instead of using the contains method, I have used the absolute x path.
so it has hit the breakpoint if I do a step over it will supply the text and click on search button okay now again it will wait for the element and click on it so as you can see here it has clicked on the last element and after that it will check for the title title contains the substring u then click on login so as you can see here the login dialog box appear and wait for the element that is this dialog so as you can see here how easy it is by using the expected condition class and using the inbuilt dynamic logics now in order to run the same script inside the firefox or ie all i need to do is just to modify this app config so i'm going to run this once in ie so just do a right click run as selected test now this is time it is going to run in i so wait for the search text box supply the html and click on search then click on the last element assert for the title and click on login and validate for the login dialog so as you can see here and if I run the same script in this Firefox also it will get passed So again build the solution and run the script. So now this time it is going to run the same script inside the Firefox. So the, the basic concept is the same with the help of proper weight there are very less chances that your script will fail because of element exceptions such as element not found or element is not visible. So with the same concept you can handle that loading mask also which usually come whenever you log inside a website or any dialog box okay so in this manner you can use expected condition class built-in function for creating your weight logic so that's all for this video and thanks for watching